Good morning. So that was quite a dramatic start to the video. Well, it was for Scotland anyway. We hardly ever get any thunder or lightning. So when I woke up this morning, I was so surprised to hear what I thought was thunder and then it just kept getting louder. And I think I did manage, hopefully it did um, record properly the sound of the thunder. I quickly opened my window and had a look out. Um, but yeah, it barely lasted any length of time. Um, I grew up in Malaysia, so I'm I'm such a huge fan of thunderstorms and lightning. I have such fond memories of just the coziness and the excitement of having a storm and the lights would sometimes go out and we'd have to scramble about for um, like candles or like emergency lights. So yeah, um, it was fun to wake up this morning to thunder and really quite heavy rain. I don't think it really showed up in the video. So anyway, um, that was an interesting start to the morning. But if you've been watching for a little while, you'll know that I'm not in my flat in Edinburgh. I'm actually in my parents' house in Fife. But I'm heading over to Edinburgh in a few hours and I thought this would be a fun day to bring you along because this evening, I'm so excited, I'm going to the Edinburgh Tattoo. Um, and I'm just going by myself. I was sort of semi a little bit cheeky and I s applied for a press pass on the Edinburgh Tattoo website um through like my instagram account and i wasn't sure at all if they would accept me as press but they have so um i'm going to the tattoo tonight i think it starts at 9 30 if i'm correct and i need to be there at nine o'clock or before actually nine o'clock to pick up my lanyard um and i've been before in the press pit and i personally really enjoyed it it's definitely not for everyone because there's no seat you have to stand for the whole performance which is quite long and i think it i think it's quite cold as well i'm just now i'm thinking actually i should also pack my i got those like you, maybe you've seen them in adverts everywhere those like loop ear plug things i got them for the taylor swift concert and i'm wondering maybe this would be a good day to bring them because it's probably going to be very loud being right next to the performers um or not really performers like the military bands um but anyway that was a long way to tell you that i'm so excited to go to the tattoo this evening i haven't been for pre-covid i think the last time i went was maybe 2019 um, so yeah, so looking forward to it. I've seen stories and Instagram posts from people, like friends of mine going, and it looks amazing this year. So I think I need to read the, um, sort of the rules that they've given me. I think as far as I'm aware, I'm allowed to film up to two minutes of, um, the footage from the tattoo. So I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure I can um, film lots of snippets for you. Um, so anyway, yeah, that is my plan for the day. I'm going to spend the first half of the day here in Fife, which I'm not sure I'll film much of, we'll see. And then I'm going to catch the train over to Edinburgh, unpack and see if I've got time to go and buy some food and everything as well, because I've been away um, from Edinburgh for about a week. So yeah, I need to do a little bit of um, food shopping and also just I really hope that my plants are doing okay because we have had a lot of warm weather. Anyway, um, I just wanted to introduce the video and let you know what's been going on. Um, I actually meant to show you the book that I'm reading at the moment and the book that I just finished but they're downstairs so I'll show you them later. Um, but yes, I'm just going to start getting ready and get myself packed and everything and I'll see you very soon. So I'm at the train station and since I'm a little bit early for the train, I thought I would quickly talk to you about the book that I just finished. It's called The Island of Missing Trees by, I'm hopefully saying her name okay, Alif Shaf Shafak. Um, yeah, I found it in the little library in Leith and the reviews on Goodreads were so impressive that I decided to give it a shot. And I'm so glad I did, um, although it did take me quite a few chapters to actually get into the story and I almost didn't finish it. I almost just sort of put it in the pile to go back in the little library. Um, but I'm so glad I did. The main reason is because the structure is quite different. It is 
set in different time periods, it follows various different characters that are all linked and are all sort of family. And also there's one of the main characters, I'm not sure I would say character, but is a fig tree, narrates quite a few chapters and is an integral, plays an integral role in the book. So I wasn't too sure about that at first, but I'm so glad I continued because I really enjoyed it and I don't know whether to give it four or five stars. Um, hopefully you can hear me because there's announcements. Um, but anyway, really enjoyed it and uh, would recommend if you saw Out and About to give it a shot. Um, but yeah, anyway, just waiting for the train. The sun is shining. It's really windy now. Um, hoping it, the wind dies down before the tattoo later because the castle is already windy. I'm finally home. <laughs> I think horrendous is a bit of a strong word to use, but it was not a pleasant journey today. Not pleasant whatsoever. The thing, if you've never been to Scotland or the UK during summer or a hot day, we're just not equipped for it. The train was really warm. Thankfully, the windows could open. It was okay. It was manageable. And then I got onto the tram, which doesn't have, well, it does have windows actually, but I did not feel any breeze. <laughs> and it was like sardines all smooshed on together. And I had this guy in front of me and he was hanging onto the pole, but every now and then he'd go on his phone and not hang onto the pole and he would fall back onto me. And this happened three times. Once is okay. Twice, I'm getting a little bit irritated. Three times, you've fallen on me now. <laughs> <sighs> so I am so happy to be back in my flat and I thought, I think I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I was going to go out and do food shopping. I'm not going to do that. I can't be bothered. I can't bear the thought of facing more people, <laughs> especially since the tattoo is going to be really busy, but that's hopefully going to be nice and um, lots of tourists and looking forward and it'll be a nice atmosphere. Um, whereas the tram, it was just lots of people trying to get home from work, a lot of tourists and I don't know, there's so many people. Um, so yeah, I have enough food in the house to make something for dinner. So I'm going to do that. And then um, I think I'm gonna water my plants because some of them are looking a little bit droopy. My eucalyptus tree just there and I'm going to like change my bed and everything. So that's what I'm gonna do instead of going out food shopping because I can't, can't face it. <laughs> oh, I'm just so happy to be in the house. And the good thing is, it's a good and a bad thing. My flat doesn't get very warm. Even on the hottest day, it would just be kind of nice, nice temperature. So today I came in and it felt like I had air conditioning on. And actually one time on a really hot day, my friend visited and um, she wondered, did I have air conditioning? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so yeah, that's a that's a pro of having an old building. Um, in the winter, it's not as fun. But anyway, I'm actually really hungry too, which is potentially adding to my hangriness. So I'm gonna go make a snack, big cup of tea, and unpack all the food because some of it um, should really go in the fridge soon.
I'm just about to head out the door. Um, I had dinner a little bit later than I kind of planned, so I'm rushing as usual, but I've changed. This is kind of the darkest outfit I have because it said that because we're in the press pit, we're not allowed to wear anything too colorful with loud logos or anything. So hopefully this is acceptable. And I've also brought with me, um, Sorry, this is a terrible angle, I'm just trying to get organized. I've also brought with me a down jacket in case it gets cold, which I suspect it might. I remember being cold last time and I've got a hat and gloves <laughs> and everything too. Anyway, I really must go. come down this quiet close hopefully there's nobody at the end of it <laughs> just to update you I got my press pass and another benefit that I didn't know about being with press is you don't have to queue up to get in you just to show your pass there's a really long queue forming um, queuing up to get into the tattoo already and it's only just after eight o'clock it doesn't begin till 9 30 so we've got quite a bit of time. I don't really know what to do with myself. <laughs> I was kind of worried about um, missing, you know, maybe the, the box office would close and I wouldn't get my, my pass. So I went there quite early. Um, so I've maybe got about half an hour to kill. So I thought maybe we would just have a wander around Old Town and I would show you what's it like um, in the evening in August. So let's have a little wander. I just wanted to quickly show you this little garden that's just full of pots in this close and if we go that way and just keep continuing we're going to end up at the writer's museum so let's go there Quite overwhelming actually. Um, I think we're just going to go to Victoria Street and then head into the tattoo.
So it's a couple of days after the tattoo, but I just felt that I wanted to finish the video off properly because I was far too tired um, on the night. I just got home, um, I think pretty much just had a snack and went to bed. I was exhausted, but I had such an amazing time. It was so, so, so good. I've been, this is my third time and it even surpassed my expectations, which is so impressive. Um, I don't think I could pick a favourite performance. They all just did so, such a good job. The singing was incredible, the dancing, all of the, the military um, bands and everything. Such a pleasure to watch. Um, and yeah, I, it was just such a good experience. And then when I arrived, I think there was four of us in total in the press pit. So it wasn't too busy, which was really good. And then someone from the marketing team called Kaz, who was so lovely, had offered us um, at the beginning if we would like to see the final performances and the fireworks from the very top of the sort of structure, um, you know, like all the stalls and the seats. So she sort of tapped us on our shoulder during the final few performances and we climbed up, which I'm not a huge fan of heights, especially when it's something where you can like look down and really see through the cracks because it's a structure that is um, built and then dismantled. So it took me a little while to sort of feel a little bit comfortable um, and then I could film and really enjoy the performances and the fireworks. It was so good. And we, we really got so fortunate with the weather because um, she said it was, like Kaz had mentioned, she's there almost every night of the tattoo. And she said that this so far was the warmest night and sort of the clearest skies they'd had. So very fortunate with that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I don't think I did. There was no flyover. And I found out from Kaz that um, at the beginning of the tattoo footage, you will have seen a car draw up and the special guest get out, uh, got out. Um, and he was from the military. I don't know his name. I was trying to find it, but couldn't find it. He's from the military. So when the special guest is somebody from the, um, like the, the Air Force, or is it RAF? Yeah. Um, then they do the flyover for them. So I think it actually is today the flyover. If I'd been in town, I would have tried to see it, but you can't really see it from Leith very well. I don't think so. Maybe you can. Maybe. Anyway, um, yeah, it's probably I'll try and see another night, I think. Um, but anyway, I think that's all I had to fill you in on. Um, basically just had such a fun time and I hope that you enjoyed coming along. Um, I really was so sad to cut down the footage because I filmed so much from the show, but I was limited to two minutes. So yeah, I just had to cut it down and... I sort of included all my favourite bits, um, but it was so good. There was such a mixture of dance, military bands, sort of comedy sketches and skits. The Americans did quite a few of that then and lots of singing. It was so impressive. Um, but anyway, um, I hope that you're all doing well and I will see you in the next one. Bye.